So what exactly is a ballistic pendulum? A ballistic pendulum is essentially a device that we can use to measure the speed of a moving projectile, such as a moving bullet. So let's suppose we have the following setup. So we have the following bullet with mass MA that is traveling in the positive direction along the x-axis with a velocity VA. So velocity VA is the speed of the bullet. Now we have a massless string that is attached to the following block that has a mass MB and our block is initially at rest. So velocity VB is the velocity of the block and it's equal to zero meters per second. Now what happens is our mass MA, the bullet, collides with the block and gets stuck inside the block. So now, after our collision takes place, our system is composed of the mass, this block, as well as the mass, our bullet. So right after our collision takes place, we have the following system of objects that is moving with velocity V prime. So velocity V prime is the speed of the bullet plus the pendulum plus the block right after our collision takes place. Now, because it has velocity, it will move a certain displacement, certain vertical displacement change in H. So eventually, when it moves this displacement change in H, it will come to a rest and then it will swing backwards. And this is known as a ballistic pendulum. So we want to somehow use this setup and the conservation laws to solve for the velocity of our bullet before our collision takes place. So let's break this problem down into two steps. So we have part one and part two. So in part one, we're examining the moment right before our collision takes place and right after our collision takes place. Now notice we have a collision in which the two objects, the two colliding objects, completely stick together. So that means we have a completely inelastic collision. So we can use the conservation of momentum. So the sum of the momentum of our two objects right before they collide is equal to the sum of our two objects right after they collide. So we have the following equation. Now notice right off the bat that our initial velocity VB of the block was zero. So this term cancels out. And also notice that because our two objects stick together and move away with the same exact velocity V prime, we can replace VA prime and VB prime with simply VA. And then we can take that out and we get the following result. So we have the following formula. Mass of the bullet times the mass of the velocity we're looking for equals the sum of our two blocks or the two objects multiplied by V prime, the speed of the bullet plus the pendulum right after our collision takes place. So this is the equation we have. Now notice, however, this is not the end because we have two unknowns. We don't know what this is, that's what we're looking for, and we don't know what V prime is. So let's call this equation one and let's move to part two. So in part two, we're examining the time interval during which the pendulum moves a vertical height of change in H. So when the pendulum moves this vertical height, the only force acting on our object, on our system of objects, is the force of gravity. So that means because gravity is a conservative force, we have the conservation of mechanical energy. So the sum of the kinetic and gravitational potential energy before it begins to move is equal to the sum of the kinetic and gravitational potential energy right after it displaces this distance change in x. So notice our initial gravitational potential energy is zero and our final kinetic energy is zero. So these two terms cancel out and we're left with the following equation. So the kinetic energy before is equal to the gravitational potential energy after. So all the kinetic energy has been uh, transformed into gravitational potential energy. So we have one half 
the mass of the two objects multiplied by the velocity v prime squared is equal to the sum of the two masses times the gravitational constant g times the change in h. So we can solve the equation for v prime and we get v prime is equal to the square root of 2 times g times change in h. So let's label this as equation number 2. So now we take equation number 2 and we plug it into equation number 1. So we take v prime, this term, and plug it into this term. And this is the equation we are left with. The initial velocity of the bullet right before it collides is equal to the sum of our two masses multiplied by the square root of 2 times g times change in height divided by ma. So we can actually calculate this distance and if we know this distance and we know the masses of both objects we can calculate what the velocity of our bullet is, our projectile, right before it collides with our mass.